Felicia Day here, and welcome back to the vlog. It is the second episode. It wasn't a dream. It's really happening. <laughs> oh my God, this is really happening. This week on the vlog, we'll be exploring the ancient and proud art of making neon signs. But before I get to all that glowy awesomeness, it's time for a book update. Huh, <laughs> yeah. I hope the quality of this dance will have nothing to do with the quality of the book reviews. Oh God, book reviews. You can pre-order my book, You're Never Weird on the Internet, almost, at FeliciaDayBook.com and find all my book tour dates as well. I am so excited to meet everybody on tour, and in preparation, I've been doing some hardcore hand exercises. Yeah, flexing. <laughs> For all the book signings, you guys, come on. Dirty. Okay, let's just get to Trio Mio. Number one on our list today is Taddy Divine Jewelry, who made this awesome T-Rex necklace on my neck. All right, first of all, if you're gonna go sexist on me right now and roll your eyes because I'm a woman pitching awesome jewelry, you can shut your stupid troll face and go look at their awesome, adorable website. They have the coolest designs like this necklace that just says, "arg." Oh, 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 and look at this geometric honeybee necklace, adorbs. And if you wear them both at the same time, it's like you're being attacked. And you're reminding people with bee allergies not to let their guard down. Check it out at tattydivine.com. Number two on our list this week is a Google Maps book mashup. The map itself is annotated with little book icons and you can click them to find out what book was written in that place as a setting. So say you're in Paris and you're thinking, hmm, I would love to find a book that tells a story about the lovely city around me and all of the gourmet cheese. Why am I in Paris with a French accent? That I don't know. Simply click on the book icon on Paris and ta-da! A recommendation for a book based in Paris pops up. The site is open sourced, so you can add books you love to places so that other people can find them too. Find it at lovereading.co.uk. And number three this week is a podcast called The Arkham Sessions. It's a show that analyzes the psychology of Batman, the animated series. Each episode of the podcast is dedicated to one particular episode. And the best part is if you ever miss that episode, they touch on all the key points, so it's still easy to follow along. The show explores mental health issues and fields of study like dreams, neuroscience, and trauma. My favorite is the Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn episode. <laughs> How much fanfic is there out there on that? A lot. You can check out the Arkham Sessions podcast on iTunes or at underthemaskonline.com. To the mental health mobile! And this week for our segment, I got my Tron on with neon sign making because it's glowy. Probably got that. Hey, I'm here with Marisha, who is in a Critical Role. Uh, tell me what Critical Role is, or tell the audience. Critical Role is a show that we do on Twitch here at Geek and & Sundry, and essentially we're just a bunch of nerdy voice actors playing around D&D. So we are here today to do something special with you, with Lily. We're in your studio. Yes, this is my studio. I've been here for 35 years. I'm a neon artist. Yeah. Now, how, how did you get into neon art sculpture? Uh, I hated painting. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Neon is just the generic name for the whole medium, but a lot of the tubes are filled with argon gas or helium gas. Now, is this going to be dangerous for us today? Not or... dangerous at all. Okay. No, you're breathing all the gases in the atmosphere. You're breathing neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and... We're, dr we're breathing krypton? Yes, you're breathing krypton, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have some amazing pieces of art in this place. I mean, you said there was something particularly special about this kind of neon tubing. Yes, that's called a crackle tube and it's a fat tube that has lots of little glass tubes inside of it. And the neon gas has to find its way around those little glass tubes so it crackles, it moves. It's That's pretty amazing. Awesome. I would love a glow stick like that and then I would just feel like I would fit into any party. Yeah. <laughs> which I usually don't feel like I fit into. Now, are you a crafty person, Marisha? I, I am a crafty person on my good days. I mean, you know, I like to troll Pinterest. Have you ever made anything in neon? before. No. You know, like you see neon signs on the street and like, of course you think, well, someone had to make those. For some reason, I never thought that I could have that power. Well, you're going to have it now. We are going to be making a critical role piece of art to hang permanently in the Twitch studio. And this druid right here, she's going to help us make it. And this shaman of neon. Yes. Okay. All right, Lily, let's go. Okay, I just want to show you the different gases that are possible to put in these neon tubes. This is neon. This is what gives the whole medium its name. This is argon. And argon with a drop of mercury makes this color Whoa, blue. Just a drop? These are the two colors that make up all of the signs that you see out in the landscape. Oh, wow. So just, any color that we get has to be a combination there of uh, these one two. One or the other. Wow. 
All mm -hmm. right. So these are some of the colors that you can get with neon. We can get about 200 colors. Wow. You can look at this and choose the colors that you want in your sign. I think our sign is going to be two different colors, yes. two different tube colors. And we were thinking a red and a white. What would you recommend as yeah. far as the colors? I'd recommend this beautiful ruby. Mm. Oh, that is beautiful. It's good. Yeah. It's very ruby. Filled. It's called coated argon ruby. Uh -huh. It's pumped with argon mercury gas, and it's imported glass from Italy. Oh, well, that's, okay. that sounds classy. <laughs> okay, well, which we're pretty that. classy. All right, yeah. Yeah, the other color uh, is not imported from Italy, but it's uh, white, 6,500 white. 6,500 white. white, which is a nice contrast because uh, our design has two eye-catching elements, and I'm very excited to put those two colors mm -hmm. together. Okay, Lily, so Marisha and I came prepared with a design. It is, boom! It is the official Critical Role logo mm -hmm. situation. Yes. This is our classic 20-sided die, mm -hmm. which is a kind of a good symbol for D&D &D and role playing in general. I actually came prepared. I keep 20-sided dice on me all the time. Just inside you. You had them. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, Lily, have you seen a 20-sided no. dice when you got the design? You were like, no. what is this thing? I, yeah. Oh, I thought it looked like a diamond. Like a gem. I, yeah. 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 Well. We are blinging. These are gems, especially if, if you find a good one. So, uh, Lily, what in the game you do with these is that you'll go, hey, I'm going to seduce you, or I'm going to hit you with an ax, and you roll, and a 16, see, that would probably succeed. But if yeah, you did less a than roll. a 12, you would probably fail all the time. Ooh, I did a 19 Wow, there. we are going to have a good day here. 16, 19. <laughs> so what did you think about the design? Yeah, as far I like as... the design. It's okay. nice design. Good. Yeah. How do we take this into reality? Well, what we do is we take this and blow it up to uh, the size we're going to make it. Okay. And next, we make the design by putting a piece of tracing paper over it. Mm -hmm. What we do is we draw the neon tubes. Each tube has two electrodes. Uh huh. Okay, so this is the symbol for an electrode. Okay. So we start uh, with the sword. Whoa, and this is being bent as one piece? This is gonna be one piece. Wow. Oh, dude. Whoa! So that's hot, everybody. Wow! Okay, you said this wasn't dangerous, Seriously? Lily. You said this was safe. It's it's hobby. Fire. I know, but it's a very strong element. When you look at this, do you know what this is? Yes, I do. Are you a D and D player? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Really? A little bit. <gasps> give a him a give ago. him a roll. Give him a roll. Um, you're oh. about to bend the tube, and you have to make a dexterity save, or else you might break the glass. Ready? Oh, and I don't know this one. Ready and. Just Oh, 15. oh, 15! Yes. You rolled a 15! Okay, good. Roll for burning. Oh, for burning. 14! <laughs> Boy, guys, we are rolling really good today. Lily, I think you need to roll yep. for just overall roll success. All right. Huh. You're like our cleric. A 6. Oh, God. Uh, no. No. Um, the oh, well. deity will check in later. There That's you fine. go. The deity's just <laughs> out of the office. Do that. Why do you have it attached to it your does, mouth? Because I need to blow it out when I heat it up. You look like the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and now you're blowing. Oh, oh you're, you're blowing. Goofy. You're going to try to do this. OK, you do it, and I'll supervise. Okay. Marisha, before you jump into the fire, what D&D character do you think Brian right here would be? Well, you're, you're pretty dexterous. Yep, dexterity and, is a and very high. You, like, you use all this chemical elements. You would be an arcane trickster rogue. <laughs> oh. That's what you are. are. Lily? I like that. I would say I sense clairvoyance, clairvoyance and artistry, mm -hmm. and a little mm -hmm. bit more than a, a touch of magic. I, I of think the you'd arcane. be like a cleric. Cleric, I think cleric, yeah. a high, but but a mystical. So right. it would be a god that speaks through your mouth. Yes. Okay, let's burn something. Okay, okay, there's twirling involved. There's yeah. twirling so involved. Come on over on this side. Okay, come on your side. Oh god, don't die. And don't oh. don't touch. No one's ever died in a neon hot. accident. Whoa, so how long? How long do I do this for? Because it's, it's oh my god, there it goes, there it goes. Blow! There don't blow yet. yet! Don't blow yet! Don't, don't blow, blow yet! yet. Okay. Don't listen to me, I don't know what I'm doing! I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, very, oh, very good! Who's I want to blow too hard, there? is that good? That's perfect. That's perfect? Look at that. You did really good. Wow. You know how to blow. Wow, that's hard. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. Sorry, Marisha. <laughs> okay, so Lily, we have all the pieces assembled because filmmaking magic. Next, we take a piece of material. In this case, we have aluminum. And put our pattern down on the material. Uh -huh. We're going to actually punch through it. OK. Did we miss one? I'm sweating now. This is too much labor. Ah! 
Okay, just try to hold the straight like that. Okay. Just straight. Okay. Yeah, like all right. Perpendicular. That's a lot to ask, Lily. Okay. Just want to say, my dad would be so proud. <laughs> See, it's harder uh, than you think. It's harder. Uh, That. Okay. Oh wow! Look, guys. <gasps> oh, so cool. Do, 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 do. All right. Yep. You see the where the wires go through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a divot. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Okay. Let me not. Wow, Marisha. Kick the table. Out. Wow, Marisha. Uh oh. This one's like. Yeah. Okay, Lily, I guess it's time to test it out to see if this neon sign is going to dazzle. Okay, oh, okay, let's do it. Okay. Powering up. <gasps> oh my god, it's That's so pretty. awesome! Oh, cool. It's such a good color. It's such a great color. Where can people find your work, Lily? Well, I'm on the web at lockage.com, L-A-K-I-C-H.com. Okay. And I'm here in the Arts District at 704 Traction Avenue. All right, come on down. Look at the beautiful art that she has. And people can take classes. I teach a neon workshop. So at the end, you could possibly have a sign just as cool as our Critical Role at the end of eight weeks. That's right. And we did it in an afternoon, but we had incredible professionals doing yeah. most of the hard help. things. But we drilled the heck out of that sign, guys. No, we did. And I blew the crap out of that glass. Okay. <laughs> okay. See you later. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, 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 one last thing. When crafting a piece of literature about one's own life, I realize it's possible that one might come off as, you know, more odd than they actually are. In my first chapter, I have entries pulled from a journal I kept around the age of 10 from this little pink notebook. And in retrospect, you know, some of them could make me seem like a, like a child no one would want to hang around. Judgy, strange, kind of a winker. So it's my hope that in reading alternative entries from here, you might judge and laugh at me just a little bit less. Okay, let's begin. Hmm. In World Issues, I watched a fictional movie about dropping the bomb. It's scary. I hope we don't drop the bomb ever. Anyway, I love the Brady Bunch. Today I learned about miscarriage, which is when you spit out a baby too early. Also, I got a beach back. Dear diary, if I should be in a coma or anything like that, please let me die. I'm 10 and I know what this means. Well, bye for now. I'll try to write again tomorrow, but don't hold your breath. I love seals. That's it, that's the whole page. Mr. Wizard on TV showed boiling water with an ice cube by lowering atmospheric pressure. It may have been heightening it, I don't know. Maybe I'll study superconductors when I grow up. Ha ha ha. Well, it was worth a try. Mommy broke her arm and we aren't going to Miami. We didn't have enough money to go down and mommy can't shift the five speed very well and there are bandits on the highway. Okay, that didn't work. So mission unaccomplished. Go to Wattpad to download the intro and the first chapter files, then pre-order at FeliciaDayBook.com to experience all stages of my life shame. <laughs> Yay. Bye.